This session is about the teaching of novel. So after learning this type of students will be able to discuss some key elements of novel and lastly utilize different pre-reading, why reading and post-reading activities while teaching a novel. So a novel is fictional piece of prose usually written in a narrative style that we have discussed earlier also. That novel is a fictional piece like story is also a fictional piece of prose and the difference between these two is that novel is a lengthy uh, written prose where a short story is written in a shortest possible uh, way. So it deals with actions and events which constitute its plots like a short story a novel tells a story but unlike the short story the novelist writer has the freedom to dwell plot characters and theme slowly and in great detail. The novelist can also sound the main plot with subplots. Now uh, we will discuss about what is the purpose of novel. So basic purpose when reading a novel is to understand who are the main characters, what are the characters like, who is telling the story or point of view, where and when the story takes place, what happens that is the plot. So the author's main idea theme how the author expresses or her ideas. So uh, the basic purpose of reading a novel is to know about the characters, uh, about the point of views of the characters or the story, about the plot, about the theme and about the style of the whole story. Also reading novel, so preview before reading, when you, when you are going to read any novel, then firstly preview before reading. So preview checklist, what you have to preview it, firstly the title and the author, what is the title and who is the author of this novel, then the front and back cover, something is written on front cover and likewise some summary or something is written at the back of that cover also and that, that is mostly written about the writer of that novel. So information about author, introductory material, summary from book reviews, forward or introduction, and chapter names and illustrations. What are the elements of novel? What makes up a novel or a short story? That's another question. So elements of a novel and when we discuss about the elements of novel, then what makes a novel or a short story? The so first element is setting. So setting is the time and place in which a story occurs. So whether that story is a short story or whether that is story that is a long story. So everything whether short or long that has some time and place to occur. So setting of a story is always important. So it influences the way character act and think and all aspects of their lives. So, so what would happen if the setting from a western was switched with the setting from a Disney movie. Two types of setting are there. One is called as stated and the other is called as implied. Stated the time and place are directly stated by the author. Type of setting whereas implied type of setting is time and place are determined by clues given by the author. So examples of setting are on a rainy November morning in 1776 a soldier trode a solitary path along a road in western Virginia. His gait was slow and his face barely visible beneath untold layers of grim, betrayed and anguished, exhausted expression. So what is the setting? Is it stated or implied in that paragraph? What do you think? What is the setting is? Is it stated or implied? Likewise, the second one is one night the king was holding a grand feast, sneaking around behind the lords and ladies. Prince Bart tried their powdered wings to the backs of their oak chairs. This is taken from the whipping boy. The students should infer that the time is in the past and that the setting is a castle somewhere. The text may later give more clues to clarify the setting or even directly stated it. 
but these inferences can be made now so what is the setting is it is stated are implied so in both the first one is in which the setting is exactly stated that is on a rainy november morning in 1776 rainy november morning 76, that is what the stated setting is in which time and place is stated by the author and where some clues are given by the author about time and place then it is said to be implied setting so one night the king was holding a grand feast so one night when that one night was so whether that one night was of november or whether that one night is of august or whether that one night is of 2020 or 2019 so that's what called as implied novel and most of the uh, stories or short stories uh, or stories are written in implied settings like once upon a time the second element is mood mood is actually the overall feelings or atmosphere that writer creates can i describe the mood created in the passage below so it was a cold and cheerless evening the fog seemed to hover over the street clutching the buildings the street lamps the entire city in a damp icy grip if one were to stand still passers by would emerge briefly from the gloom only to disappear from view after taking just a few steps these ghostly apparitions tormented james as he impatiently waited for his valet to return with his carriage so what will be the mood of this passage there is the overall feeling or atmosphere that a writer creates third one is the character so the people animals or creatures that the story is about the characters directly involved with the conflict are said to be the main characters the protagonist good characters of the hero or heroine antagonist antagonist bad character the villain or enemies those are the bad character and the next one is the secondary characters so secondary characters are the characters added to the story to create interest not directly involved with the conflict or the secondary characters so method used by authors to help readers get to know characters in a story that's again like uh, setting is the stated characterization or implied characterization stated characterization the author tells the audience about the personality and appearance of the character like the gant was huge uh, statue and powerful so huge uh, statue and powerful that is what the stated characterization and implied the author show the audience things that reveals the personality of the character so example the gant felt unhappy when he saw the child crying i don't like to see you suffering he said consolingly so that is what the example of implied characterization and stated characterization these were the uh, elements of character now what are the methods of characterization that is speech thoughts and feelings effect on others actions and looks speech is what does the character say how does the character speak that is the speech and uh, antagonist and protagonist speech was totally different from each other that is called as speech then thoughts and feelings what is revealed through the character's private thoughts and feelings how protagonist th thinks and how antagonist thinks both thinking were totally different from each other and the next one is effects on others and then actions and looks effect on others what are revealed through the character effects on other people and how do other characters feel or behave in reaction to the character so then the actions what does the character do or how does the character behave and the last one is look what does the character look like and how does the character dress so characters dress also uh, tells about the characterization of any character in a novel and the next element is plot and all the events that makes up a story is said to be the plot and there are six main um, parts of plot 
so that is introduction conflict rising actions climax falling actions and conclusions that is what the uh, major component of plot and plot which is the element of a novel so introduction that is the beginning of the sto story where the characters and the settings are revealed that is called as introduction then comes the conflict the conflict problem of the story it should involve the main characters and that can be character versus character character versus environment or nature character versus society and character versus self so that is the conflicts that is actually main thing that uh, that is there in a novel uh, the whole story revolves around that conflict and then what are the types of conflicts conflicts are either external or internal so first three types of conflicts are generally external those were the first three character versus character character versus nature character versus society so these three characters or these three conflicts were said to be the external conflicts so this means that the reader understands that the characters are acting on their problem and the last type is internal so this conflicts occurs in the character's mind or conscience such as deciding to do the right things the honest things or the brave things it is a decision that one can only make by himself or herself then next uh, element or next component of plot is rising actions <clears throat> so all the events leading to the climax of the story is called as rising actions and when rising actions completed then the climax of the story is actually developed so climax is the event in a story where the problem is solved or the question is answered it is usually the most exciting part of the story that's called as the climax and uh, once climax is done then falling actions are there the events leading to the conclusion of the story is called as falling actions and then comes conclusion the ending of story and in them there is a point of view also so point of view is author's choice of narrator or speaker so point of view is of two types that is the first person point of view and the third person point of view the first person point of view is a character in the story and that is telling the story and mostly uses the pronoun i likewise the third person point of view in third person point of view that is what the pov point of view is the speaker or narrator or outside the story uses the pronoun he she it or they that is the third person's point of view that is actually narrated in a story and then determine the point of view in that story how you can determine the point of view that is something extracted from a novel once upon a time there was an old so with three little pigs and as she had not enough to keep them she sent them out to seek their fortune the first that went off met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him please man give me the straw to build me a house which the man did and the little pig build a house with it so everybody knows the story of the little of the three little pigs or at least they think they do but i will let you on a little secret nobody knows the real story because nobody has ever heard my side of the story that's i am the wolf alexander t wolf so you can call me al i don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started but it's all wrong that is from the true story of the three little pigs by john the next element is the theme a lesson or message the author is trying to send the reader a generalization about life and that is the theme of uh, novel uh, so likewise the Uh, settings and likewise the plot the theme is also either stated or implied so stated lesson or message is directly stated by the author or implied a lesson that is merely suggested 
वट वॉज यूर फेवरेट मूवी आर ए बुक आर ए नावल वट आर सम ऑफ द थीम्स फ्राम यूर फेवरेट मूवी आर बुक डेट यू हैव एवर रेड स्टूडेंट्स दीज वर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नावल एंड लास्ट स्लाइड इज विच इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्लाइड इन होल प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू ऑल